एच पी एवन सी गिवज अ बेटर आइडिया देन ऑन द स्पॉट ब्लड शुगर लेवल बिकॉज इट गिवज एन आइडिया ऑफ एवरेज ब्लड शुगर इन द लास्ट टू टू थ्री मंथस इट मेजर्स ग्लूकोज अटैच टू द हिमोग्लोबिन एंड इट रिमेन्स थ्रू आउट अटैच थ्रू आउट द लाइफ ऑफ द आर बी सी विच इज अबाउट टू टू थ्री मंथस सो वी गेट अ बेटर आइडिया इन स्पॉट शुगर टेस्ट वी देर आर सर्टन फैलिसीज लाइक इफ समबडी हैज ईटन समथिंग लेट इन द नाइट फास्टिंग ब्लड शुगर विल बी हायर सो दीज फैलिसीज आर रिमूव इन एच पी ए वन सी इट गिव अ बेटर इन आइडिया अबाउट द कंट्रोल ऑफ डायबिटीज No, no, it's not true. It's absolutely a false statement because non-vegetarians, uh, non-vegetarian diet is rich in calories, so they are more likely to get diabetes rather than less. And there is no reason. It depends only on the caloric intake and the predisposing factors like physical in- inactivity, family history, or oh, it's uh, uh, vegetarian or non-vegetarian diet. doesn't matter at all of course a uh, protein gets slowly absorbed but uh, calorie wise they, it's rich non vegetarians are what eaters also most of the time it is important to know when should we get it tested if somebody is over the age of 45 and he is non not diabetic he should get hba1c every 2 to 3 years if there is family history of diabetes or other predisposing factor or person is overweight hypertensive coronary artery disease is physically inactive obese or having symptoms of diabetes like polyuria polydipsia polyphagia or are getting weight loss or feeling very weak so he should get it tested to know whether he is diabetic or he is in a group where he can get diabetes so we can diagnose pre diabetics also by hba1c which can not be diagnosed by random blood sugar or fasting blood sugar